Hello, Erica here, and I'm here with a very, very late wrap-up for the 24 and 48 hour readathon. The 24 and 48 readathon happened on January 16th and 17th, so not this past weekend, but the one before that. I meant to do a wrap-up early last week, but then it got really crazy at work, and then it snowed in the south, and when it snows in the south, people lose their shit. So basically my boss put me up in a hotel room for the weekend so that I could get to and from work. <laughs> so I obviously was not able to film this past weekend. But I'm here and I'm going to tell you about what I read. For those of you who don't know, the 24 and 48 readathon is a readathon that takes place over the course of 48 hours and your goal is to read as much within those 48 hours as possible with the end goal of course being to read 424 out of 48 hours. I did not make it to 24 hours of reading. I did read for about 19 hours. Um, the way that I track this is on my smartphone. I've said this before. So on my iPhone I use the timer function and when I sit down to start reading I start the timer. When I'm not reading I stop the timer and it adds up throughout the day. So that's a really easy way to keep track of that. I did end up reading a little over 1300 pages and I was able to knock off a lot of short books and I read most of what was on my TBR. Not all of it, but I read quite a bit of it. So here we go. The first book I finished is Beautiful Darkness by Fabian Bellman and Kira Scott. This was um, translated from French by da, 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 Helga Dasher. And it's a standalone graphic novel that I can't give much away about, but I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to talk about it more in my next comics roundup video, which is coming soon. And I, yeah, it was a really fun read. I think I gave it three and a half or four stars out of five overall. Then I read The Diamond as Big as the Ritz by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is a novella slash short story of Fitzgerald that I really enjoyed. Um, basically, the premise is that our protagonist is from a small little town called Hades and he's sent off to a boarding school and it's like the best boarding school in the world and most of the boys that he's at boarding school with are very very wealthy and come from very wealthy families and one of the boys invites him to come stay with his family for the summer and shit gets crazy from there. Um, I yeah I really enjoyed this. I like F. Scott Fitzgerald's writing and I was happy to get into more of his work. I think I gave this four stars overall. Throughout the day on Saturday I also listened to the audiobook and kind of read along um, to A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This is one of those books that I'm trying to get to in my mission to read all of the children's classics that I kind of have missed out on at some point or another. So I had never read this before. I've never seen the movie. I'm gonna watch the movie soon. Um, and it was fine. It was very sugary sweet. It, um, it's really precious. Um, but it is a good children's story. I just really wish that I had read it as a child. I think I wrote in my Goodreads review that like eight-year-old Erica would have really loved this, but 26-year-old Erica, not so much. It was good. I'm glad I read it. I gave it three stars, I think. Um, and yeah, I don't have much else to say about this. Easily the best book that I read during the readathon and the best book that I've read so far this year is Head Off and Split by Nikki Finney. This is a collection of poetry that won the National Book Award in 2011 and it was mind-blowing. I'm going to do an entire review of this, so I'm not going to talk about it too much here, but it made my heart hurt. It blew my mind. The words are beautiful. I got totally wrapped up in it. I loved every single poem and every single second of it. I gave it five stars. And yeah, you should definitely, definitely pick this up. During Saturday and Sunday, I made my way through A Guide to Being Born, which are short stories by Ramona Alcibel. These are really fun short stories that kind of have a magical realism twist to them. And they're kind of about the development of relationships with loved ones in all of the many forms that relationships can come in um and I really adored them I think I'm also going to do a review of this so I will talk about it more but I gave the collection four stars on Sunday I read Hark a Vagrant by Kate Beaton this is a collection of comics by Kate Beaton and they're pretty funny they are about Canadian history and they kind of poke fun at famous literary figures and I like that she gives little footnotes for some of them, especially the historical ones. You can see that there are like little footnotes kind of explaining the joke because I do not know very much about Canadian history so I was a little lost um, in those ones but I love the ones about like F. Scott Fitzgerald and the 
Bronte sisters and stuff. That was hilarious. So I'm really glad I read this. I'm really happy to support Kate Beaton as an artist, and I can't wait to get my hand on her um, other collection, which just came out, which I think is called Step Aside Pops. Not entirely sure, but really fun read. Um, I think I gave it three stars overall. Also on Sunday, I read Carmen by Prosper Merrimé. Don't speak French. Uh, this is a classic novella that the uh, many adaptations, opera and film, have been made out of. What was that sentence? Propositions are hard, y'all. Anyway, this has been adapted like a million times, and I enjoyed it. It was what it was. It's the story of well, it's a framed narrative but it's basically the story of this man and this beautiful woman Carmen who he meets and kind of how their life of crime evolves and yeah you know, it's very sweeping and kind of romantic and the setting is very rich so I enjoyed it I'm really glad I read it I gave it three stars on Sunday, I also listened to the audiobook of The End of the Affair by Graham Greene. This was my first Graham Greene, and I heard that it was really fabulous and a good place to start with him. And first of all, the audiobook was excellent. It's narrated by Colin Firth. But I don't know that I would necessarily recommend going the audiobook route if it's your first read-through. It could have been because I've been reading for so long at this point that, like, my brain was dead. But I don't think that I absorbed and appreciated it as much when I listen to it as I will when I eventually revisit it in print. And I am planning on in, um, picking this up again. It's a very short little book. It's like 160 pages long. Um, but the writing was fabulous. The themes were really beautiful. And it was just a really heartbreaking little novel. Um, so I do recommend it. But like I said, I personally am going to revisit it in the print version. Even though Colin Firth's voice is magical. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars for now. But... Um, as I said, I think I'm going to enjoy it and just get a lot more out of it when I reread it. So you might want to look for that reading to change. And the last thing that I completed during the readathon was the third? Was this the third? Yeah. The third volume of Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire. Oh my gosh. So I finished the Sunday night and I immediately, and I mean immediately, went online and ordered the last three volumes of the series because it was amazing. Um... <laughs> So I can't obviously tell you much about this plot, and I will be talking about this in my next comics reviews. I think I gave this volume three or four, I think I gave this one four stars. Um, definitely an awesome series, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you're at all interested. But yes, that's all I read during the readathon. Please let me know how you did, if you participated. Um, going hand in hand with my lack of filming has been my lack of time to watch anyone's videos lately, so I will get caught up with all of you soon. I feel like I say this like every other time that I film, but life is hectic, y'all. You know? Anyway, I'm really glad to be here, and I will see you all later. Bye!